Hi everyone, good morning to you all. I hope you are fine by the grace of Almighty. Today as part of your practical class, I'm going to talk about the double-stranded DNA molecule. And uh, in our last few class, we have been talking about the uh, structure of double-stranded DNA. But today, uh, we will see practically what are the components of DNA and uh, in my lecture I will try to focus on some points that is what is DNA actually is, where it is found and what are the components of DNA and finally what are the functions of DNA molecule and how they function inside the living organism. So let's, let's start from the beginning what is DNA. <coughs> DNA is an abbreviated form and the full meaning of DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. And this deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA is found inside the cell, especially inside the nucleus. And uh, the components of DNA are composed of polynucleotide. So what does it mean actually polynucleotide? Polynucleotide is more than two, three, four nucleotide composed and it, uh, it contains spiral structure. And in this model, as I'm holding in my hand, you can see this uh, five carbon molecule is actually pentose sugar. And a nucleotide is composed of three basic components, pentose sugar, inorganic phosphate, and nitrogenous base. So this black component, as I'm colored as black, this black component is pentose sugar. And the pentose sugar, it is pentose sugar. This one is also pentose sugar. The two adjacent pentose sugar, which is connected by a white round ball, it is inorganic phosphate. And the two, the inorganic phosphate, which is connected, the two pentose sugar, uh, by a special kind of bond, which is phosphodiester bond. And the, with pentose sugar, there is also um, nitrogenous base, you can see in two different colors, blue and um, pink. This, these two colors actually, two nitrogenous base. We know that nitrogenous base are two types, purine base and pyrimidine base. And purine base contains adenine and guanine. And pyrimidine base contains cytosine and thiamine. So two, pure, uh, two nitrogenous base also connected by another special kind of bond, which is hydrogen bond. So for com to complete a nucleotide, it needs a nitrogenous base, a pentose sugar, and inorganic phosphate. So in this strand, there is two nucleotide. This one is one nucleotide. This one is another nucleotide. And the, the total length of this single nucleotide is 20 angstrom. And uh, the length between two adjacent nucleotide from here to here, the distance is 3.4 angstrom. And in my class, I already said that the eight complete twist contain 10 nucleotides. So 10 nucleotides, the total length of 10 nucleotides is 34 angstrom. So here, this DNA molecule contains uh, 30, 26, 26 nucleotide, 26 nu nucleotide, and this, if you, if we calculate from this one, this side is one nucleotide, so this strand, this helix contains 13 nucleotides, and the opposite strand contains 30 nucle 13 nucleotides, so collectively it contains 26 nucleotides, and uh, this pentose sugar, yes, I forgot to mention. Uh, nucleic acid are two types, DNA and RNA, but uh, both nucleic acid contains pentose sugar. But for in case of DNA, pentose sugar is different, and in case of RNA, pentose sugar is slightly different. That is, we know that pentose sugar contains five carbons. It is actually ribose sugar, and the number of two carbons there is lacking of oxygen molecule. That is why we call it deoxy, deoxy ribose sugar. But in case of RNA, there is no lacking of oxygen. That is why you, we don't tell it deoxyribose sugar. We, we call it ribonucleic acid. But due to the absence of oxygen molecule, in case of DNA, we call it deoxyribonucleic acid. And
then this is all about uh, DNA structure but uh, I need to say some more thing about DNA Wh what are the functions of DNA DNA is in is the main hereditary material and it uh, carries genetic information and passes the genetic information from generation to generation and it also take, takes part in the protein synthesis process and uh, this protein synthesis process is called translation and it also increases number by another process this is called replication and during the protein synthesis there is uh, another phase or another step need to complete the which is transcription and, and from the transcription process DNA helix unwinds and makes two helix uh, separate and uh, it can produce mRNA and the, the production of mRNA from the double strand DNA is called transcription. So the, the function of DNA is used inside our living cell and I think this is all about the information about the DNA and I think this practical class will be more helpful to gather more information. This is all about the DNA information and uh, during this session I want to ask question some of the students but uh, before taking question if you have any um, confusion about the DNA you can ask me. Sir. I can understand very well, but I have some questions to ask you. Uh, before uh, asking question, first of all, I, ask, I want to ask the question: Why the DNA strand are anti-parallel? Why they form in anti-parallel? Okay. Thanks for your nice question. <coughs> DNA is basically double helix, and the arrangement of nucleotide, a single nucleotide, is opposite to the another strand. That is, if you if you can see the pentose sugar, carbon position of pentose sugar is different from the opposite side of pentose sugar. This pentose sugar is upper position. This pentose sugar is lower position. So, from this from this structure, you can easily understand these sides. These sides of nucleotides are upward movement. Uh, upward direction and the position of this uh, helix are uh, downward direction. So from this uh, arrangement we can easily say this double strand DNA is actually anti-parallel in its structure. Thank you sir but uh, I have uh, some questions to ask you. The another question is that uh, uh, what type of uh, uh, what type of division is DNA takes place to multiply itself and is the DNA transcription and replication is same or not? DNA transcription and replication is not same. DNA replication is a process by in which it multiplies number or copy. But in trans transcription, DNA takes part in the uh, initiation of protein synthesis process in which it produces or it, it makes uh, mRNA molecule from the double stranded DNA. So these are not same. Sir, which is very faster, DNA or RNA, uh, replication or transcription? Replication is faster. Sir, um, what is the difference about the translation and protein synthesis? Translation and protein synthesis, there is no difference. The translate from the translation process, protein is synthesized. So these are same actually uh, sir what is the function of mrna mrna what is the actually is the function is okay mrna is the um, part of dna molecule which is uh, actually messenger rna and this messenger rna carries carries the genetic information and uh, it takes part in the translation process and in this translation process the mrna is converted into protein sir the last question is that uh, does mRNA copy the genetic information from DNA or not? No, there is another uh, um, molecule which is involved in the uh, translation process. The other two types of RNA uh, takes part in the translation process. This is the, these are tRNA and rRNA, ribosomal RNA and transfer RNA. RNA. These three RNA molecules collectively uh, participated in the 
protein synthesis process. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, Saiful, for your nice question. So, any more questions from your side? Yes, sir, I have some questions. Okay, you can ask. Actually, you have taught us very nicely, and I have understood so many things from this practical class, but I have some questions. Okay, carry and on. These are from the abbreviated form of DNA and RNA, we have learned that these are nucleic acid, but they are the genetic characteristic uh, carriers. How can they be uh, acid? So, the chemical structure of DNA and RNA, uh, if, you, if you know about the acidic nature of uh, different molecules, DNA and RNA contain some uh, components which have acidic in nature. That's why you call them uh, nucleic acid, acids basically. Uh, and the other question is, in this model we have seen that these are, you know, uh, they're... This one? This one is like a straight line and this one is like a curved line. They yeah. are like divided yeah. in a straight line and curved line. Why these are like that? Uh, you know that purine base and pyrimidine base. So for making a difference uh, between the uh, adenine and thymine, I make it, I uh, color it as a curved line. And for, uh, for making difference between the guanine and cytosine, I colored it as an arrow. So, for a better understanding, I make this design. Okay, but uh, they, uh, if they were like both of them were in straight line, what was the difference? A straight line? Yes. Where? The, it's in a curved line and it's in a straight line. Not a straight line. It's a, it's a uh, it is also curved, but it is a, an arrow. It indicates an arrow. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Fahima, for your nice questions. So, any more questions from Wise? Yes, yes sir, I have a question. <coughs> okay, First carry of all, on. I would like to thank you that you made such a beautiful class for us and we learned uh, many information about DNA. Now, sir, based on this discussion, I want to ask you a question that you said that uh, purine and pyrimidine uh, always bonds with each other. And we know that adenine and guanine are purine and um, cytosine and thiamine are the pyrimidine. So why adenine doesn't make a bond with uh, cytosine and why thiamine doesn't make a bond with guanine? Okay. Can you please explain? Thank you for your nice questions. We know that uh, nitrogenous bases are two types, purine base and pyrimidine base. And for bonding between the purine base and pyrimidine base, there must be a they must have to maintain a sequence to make a bond Always a purine base is connected or make, make bond with pyrimidine, pyrimidine base. So for, for adenine, adenine needs two hydrogen bond to make uh, a bond between another pyrimidine base. So adenine needs two hydrogen bond. At the same time, thiamine also needs two hydrogen bonds. So these adenine and thiamine make uh, a strong bond between the, uh, to connect the nitrogenous base together. but in case of guanine and cytosine, they need three hydrogen bond. So there is no chance to make a bond between adenine and adenine with guanine or cytosine because of the difference between hydrogen bond. You, you got your I answer? Got it. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you students for your nice questions. I, I hope you have learned uh, a lot of things uh, from, the, from this DNA structure. Now I'm going to talk uh, or I'm going to asking you some questions uh, regarding, regarding this topic. So I hope you can reply me back. Okay, as I have already discussed about the uh, DNA structure and I, I, I tried to give some information about the DNA. So in this questionnaire session, I want to ask a question to you that how many, uh, how many bonds uh, take part in the DNA, double stranded DNA structure. Sir, How many bonds? In the double stranded DNA structure, there are two types of bond. Where which are they? Which is hydrogen bond, which connects the uh, which connects the nitrogenous base, and another bond is phosphodiester bond, which stays between between the pentose sugar, two pentose sugars. Okay, thank you, Siam, for your answer. Your answer is correct. So my next question is to Usha. Can you tell me, Usha, uh, in, in, in the single nucleotide, how many components are there? Sir, so in a single nucleotide, there are three components, and these are nitrogenous base, 
inorganic phosphate and apprentice sugar. Mm. In this first uh, nucleotide, which nitrogenous base take part or make connection between the pentose sugar? So the blue one is adenine and the pink one is thiamine. Thiamine, okay. Thank you. Your, your answer is also correct. So my next question is to Shuchana. And Shuchana, come forward. As you can see, I have colored. So I have colored four, uh, four nitrogenous base. So uh, can you tell me uh, what type of nitrogenous base are there and what type of nitrogenous base are second nucleotide position? Uh, the blue one is the adenine and the pink one is uh, the thiamine. And the red one is guanine and the yellow one is uh, cytosine. Cytosine. Okay, thank you. This is all about my uh, question to my students. They also performed well in this practical class. Thank you students. Uh, I have uh, given a I have taken a session with you to explain the uh, double stranded DNA molecule and I also um, take part in the questionnaire session. I have asked you some questions, you replied well and you also uh, asked me some questions, I tried to give my answer. But uh, at, the, uh, in the, uh, at the ending of this session I want to say that uh, I, I think this practical class is uh, helpful to you. And I think uh, after the session or after the practical class, uh, the, the confession that you have before taking this class, uh, it is now, um, confession is removed or clear from you. So this is the end of my practical class and uh, I want to stop here. Thank you very much uh, to attend in my class and I think uh, it will be helpful for you. Thank you so much.